Hello, Larry. This is Dave from David Michael Designs. I thought I'd try your story pole dimension problem and try to see what's wrong. Um, I was noticing when I pulled this plan in, look at all these layer sets you got going. Dang. I, I don't know how people keep that all straight. I mean, it's great that you labeled them and you've gone through all that. Ah, that's incredible. I, you know, I, I put together construction sets myself too, but that, that's, that is incredible. That, that's pretty funny. And as for story poles, um, don't worry about it. Story poles are you know just like their typical dimension tools like let's take a cross section of of their house here the house that you built here and we're trying to get uh nkba dimensions for two vanity cabinets so if i go up here and tell the computer give me the auto dimensions for two vanity cabinets look at what it does like <laughs> are you kidding me <laughs> Chiefs like smoking crack when they were making up their dimension lines and tools and ideas and I, I don't know it doesn't make sense to me but anyways their story poles I, I fooled around with that too when XA first came out we we're uh, testing it all it, it's just it's it's a weird thing so you're not doing too many things wrong but here's what I would suggest just delete it all and go over to the dimension tool right the defaults for the dimensions on our story pole go into locate objects notice that you're set to negative eight now you might have done that yourself I'm not sure or the computer did that for you generating where your foundation is but we're just going to leave it all as is and I'm just going to add everything in the list don't be shy add it all and then we're going to remove the things that we don't want and you should be okay okay so I have it all click done 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 and then go over to my story polls and watch the magic happen bam look at all this crazy crap <laughs> this again is like what do you think it chief top of wall okay so obviously that's a goner <laughs> It's like, why well, have that? So auto story pole, we go to locate objects, uh, top of wall, never to be seen again. Dun, 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 dun. Select, delete, and then reassign. Now we're getting somewhere. So now we're getting crazy lots of t this header's no good. The rich is fine. That's fine. That's fine. I think the only other thing that you might want to get rid of, and uh, let's do that, is that um, header. Because really, who's, who the heck is going to do that? Nobody's going to want that. Okay, so locate, da 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 da, 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 da header, remove, click OK, 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 OK. Delete it one last time, and boom, there you go. There's all your call outs. You got the top of the ridge if you want, or you can just delete the ridge if, if you need be. And then the ceiling finishes all in line. So I hope that helps. Um, that's kind of how I attacked it. I just kind of turned everything on and just removed those small little pieces that were kind of overkill. I, I agree with you. I don't think in the building phase the contractor's ever going to need this. And maybe the inspector wants to see every little bit. I mean, okay, turn it on for him. What's the, what's the harm, right? Okay, talk to you later. Hope that helped.